the program. Here we are on TV. One day at a time. Once a day. Every day. Turn on the machine. Start talking. Talk for one hour. That's the program. Today we're on TV. And it's Monday. Oh, look. Where's Dan? Dan is not there today. He's taking a break or something. So we're going to find him in this box. Got Dan in a box, everybody. So I'm going to go here and get this box. Look for Dan in it. Whoa. Oh. Uh, uh. Oh, uh, it's um, okay. I almost fell down, but we're gonna find Dan in this box. He's in this box right here. And pull him out of virtual zones. So Monday is so usually games with Dan, so I don't I don't schedule them. And today, when he doesn't show up, then we have these days when there's nobody here on a Monday. But you know, Dan would probably he'd be talking about uh, science. So we're gonna go look look to the past and find Dan in the past. For Mundan, we'll celebrate Mundan without him, even though he's not here. Mundan day, anyway. You like that, everybody? Oh, great. Oh, you guys have real three guys about that one. Yeah, they, they like it. Yes. Oh. Oh man, what's happening now? Something crazy. Oh man. Greetings. Greetings. It's Dan. Yeah, so there's Dan. He's, we're going to get him on the in the background here. Yeah, you know, I didn't think of any, any topics again, and I'm already trying to think, you know, think of some topics to go with today. You know, this topic could be that it's raining outside. That's the topic, but that's just the weather. Whoa. Well, let's get to Dan. Look to Dan. Hey, Dan, how you doing? There he is. There's Dan. He's in the past. Hey Dan, so we'll bring me back into it too a little bit. That's not that's me from the past. So I want to get now me, and there I am. Ben Ten Spot of Dan. I'm all flashy for some reason now. Flashy in red. I'm gonna be over here probably where I am before. Yeah, look at that. Well, here we go. There's Dan. What are they saying in the past? Mike's going, but uh, everything's all tangled. Yeah, this is bad. Too many things to, yeah. Looking into the past, too many things is what I said. So you got a message from Freddy. Why is Freddy leaving messages, huh? Hey, it's Caitlin. Uh, Freddy's phone. Um, <coughs> I was just saying that you should probably have some mugs for your guests. and don't have to have coffee in them, but they could just be mugs because mugs implies coffee and they could be... I mean, you could pour the coffee, but it could just be water, which would be good for people's throats, but you can also have coffee and tea if you're feeling up to it, but if you weren't feeling up to it, you could just have some water on them, and it could be like a facade. Excuse me. I could really use a mug of water right now. My throat's pretty parched. All right, bye. Thanks, Caitlin and Freddie. Yeah, we should offer things. I got a beverage. Um, sometimes I offer beverages to the guests, and sometimes I got, I got food and snacks here. It's often, oftentimes I have it, not every time, but sometimes it happens. Uh, we don't have a coffee machine, though. Maybe we can get a coffee machine. If you guys want to, anybody out there, you guys got a coffee machine? And here's the next message, the last one, too. Hey, Kenny, this is Sid. I need to talk to you, and I'm not quite sure how to get a hold of you, but if you get this back, let my number is two zero two two four three four eight four two zero six. Well, they're calling... Yeah, they're calling. That's it. They're, they're trying to call me for per personal numbers. This is not my personal number. This is the the show number. So I mean, you can call me on it. I'll, I'll get find it here. But you might want to call a different number too to get that going. Well, here, let's call Freddie and we'll see how Freddie's doing. And then we can call Dan after that, I guess. Yeah, he said he's not. He won't be on the show today, so we gotta see if somebody else that is out there. Hey, Freddy. Uh, we're doing we're doing fine except for today is there's no Dan. Monday Dan, no Dan. No Dan? Yeah, he's gone. I don't know. He's 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 missing. We put him on. I put him on the virtual guest though, but he's not here. Uh oh. Yeah. That's, that's, is he doing okay? 
I don't he know. Very he seems very depressed. He sent me a message. He said he doesn't want to be on. Wow. Oh, man. That's not good. Well, I'm glad he's okay, though. It sounds like at least he sent you a message. Yeah, maybe I'll try to call him. But I tried to call him yesterday and he didn't answer. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Um, there's nobody in the studio. What are you? Are you at your? Are you at your home or your TCTV right now? Uh, I'm at Evergreen right now. We're picking up a uh, random with Cedar right now. Oh, with Cedar, yeah. There, so there's nobody here. It's just, yeah, solo. Cedar came back then. Yeah. Right? Well, I'm locked out of my house. I mean, I'm not sure what they're doing. They could possibly drop me off there. Uh, well, we'll I'll see what's going on. How long do you have you been going? Only six minutes. Well, don't worry about it. Um, how's the, yeah? How's the, everything going on your end there? Uh, production end is going good. I think we really hit our hit our stride, and uh, we're ahead of the game in both uh, YouTube and the uh, production end at TTTV. Um, I just had a very nice little production thing happen today. We got ourselves another sponsor. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, it's a place called the what is it? The Cornerstone. It's a it's a restaurant that's in that spot where the creperie used to be. It's like across the street from Dumpster Values. What do they do there? Um, it's, I don't know. It's like vegan-friendly food and like lots of stuff. I don't know. But it's all artsy inside of there, and uh, they've got options for every people, everyone, you know, dietary needs. And they make smoothies, and it seems like a really cool, hip little place. It's only been open for about five weeks, and Sam they don't have any they have sandwiches? advertising stuff. Yeah, they got good sandwiches. I had a, um, a curry chicken sandwich. Hmm. So is it Asian or...? What's that? No, no, it's not Asian. It's Hippies? I don't know. Well, you got anything. So, so did they, did you talk to the owners there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked to him. He's just a guy. He's like 24 years old or something like that. I don't know. And uh, runs the whole place. Pretty good. Um, seems really, really nice. And it's, I don't know, it's a great little spot. It was very comfy. Music, you just, you great just art. To him? You just talked to him when you were in there? Yeah, I did. And then I was, I was just at, well, it's nice when it's, you're talking right to the owner, because I feel like most of the time with restaurants, you have to, and you want, I ask them about sponsorship stuff, and they're like, well, you'd have to come in at this certain time and talk to the owner, yeah. but he was totally down, so um, I guess next background tape, we'll throw him on the end there as a sponsor. Oh, great. Well, maybe I'm going to try to get, maybe he'll give me a sandwich. Yeah, exactly. I think that that's sort of, that's how it works, right? I got to try it out. I don't know. I've never been there. Maybe I'll go in there. Yeah, they're doing an arts walk thing. Oh, he wants to come on the show. I give him the number, but uh, he wants to. He was talking about he does art food, where he like takes makes art out of food. Like uh, he, one of the ones he described to me as a um, yin yang plate, where he takes uh, I think like quinoa and something else, like maybe like black rice or I don't know something simple, like something white and something black, and makes a yin yang, and then you know, the little Ooh. parts of it. Yeah. So it's art you can eat. He wants to come on the show and make one of those things. Sounds good. I don't know when he's going to be calling in. We'll see. He yeah. hasn't called in yet. Was that today? Uh, yeah, I just, I just walked in there today. I got locked out of my house this morning, so um, oh. I was kind of just wandering around downtown doing nothing for a couple hours and stopped in and got some food. I was like, hey, I've never seen this place before. Yeah. And it was good. That sounds good. Yeah, that place has been switching over a lot. Hopefully this guy does better. Yeah, I think it seems like this guy's got his stuff together and not, and is, is like focusing on the right things. Like, apparently the last people like blew all their money trying to get the place decorated and furnished, and then didn't have like enough capital to make money off of the food or something. I'm not sure. Whoa, well we'll see what happens. Yeah. I guess yeah. Food. Yeah, I don't know what I'm. Yeah, they're doing an art. What? Oh, yes. go ahead. No, uh, yes, you, you can continue. They're doing an art walk thing. Uh, the, the wave machine's kind of roaring. What do you oh. think? They're doing an arts walk thing? Uh, what thing? You said they're arts doing an arts walk? They're doing an arts walk, too? Oh, yeah, they're doing an arts walk thing. It's kind of too late for viewers to check it out. But, yeah, they're doing a, a big thing. I think he's going to have some of the art food there, too. But, um, yeah, they're going to be open arts walk. You know what? Today is Canadian Thanksgiving. Canadian Thanksgiving is today. Dan's missing it. Is that, is that Boxing Day? It's Columbus Day and C Canadian Thanksgiving. It's Columbus Day. Whoa. Happy Columbus Day. Next week, yeah, Columbus Day. That's weird. That's a that's a holiday that Evergreen doesn't like. Everyone's always like, Columbus was awful. 
Yeah. I wish we'd never discovered America. You get a day off, though, from the government jobs, I think. Hmm, that is nice. But Dan's missing Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving, and he's a Canadian. Oh, uh, his holiday. Maybe maybe he's getting, he, he's wistful about his homeland. I think that might be it. He's been gone from Canada for a long time. Maybe it's this time of year he starts feeling it, you know? Yeah, during Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving. Is it, is it similar to our Thanksgiving, where they just kind of like eat a bunch of food and are thankful for the food? Yeah, I have no idea. We have to, we don't know, we, there's no Canadians here to ask. What about, you could call Zizang, maybe. Oh, yeah, we'll call Zizang. Well, he's the only other Canadian I know. And I'm going to try to call Dan also. Yeah, I hope he's doing okay. I care for you, Dan, if you're watching the show. Yeah, Dan. I hope you're doing good. We really do care about you, and we want you to have the best, and I hope you're feeling better. And if there's anything you need, give me a call. Yeah, hopefully if you've been back earlier today. And call the program, everybody. Uh, if you guys, anybody else, anything you need, call the program. All right. Yeah, if you need it, if you need someone to talk to you, about anything, you can call the program. We're there for you. <laughs> We're there for you, yeah. 536 3802. We're there for you. You should put that on the thing, on the list. Because right now it says, yeah. Yeah, we're there for you. It even rhymes with the phone number. We're there for you. you have any needs, yeah. there for you. 330-536-3802. That's good. We should make it a jingle. Well, <laughs> all right, Freddie. I guess I'm going to call Dan. All right, you want anything else you need? Uh, oh, Cedar, yeah. Oh, nope. How's yeah, his, that's it. How's his uh, sickness? Is Cedar recovered yet? Yeah, Cedar's recovered, more or less, is what he told me. Okay, that's good. A little bit of, you know, fighting it off little by little. But, yeah, everyone everyone got sick after that one episode where uh, you were talking about getting sick. Yeah, well, that's not, bad. We shouldn't talk about that anymore, maybe. Oh, maybe it was a curse. All right. Okay. Okay, thanks, Freddy. See you later. Okay, yeah, bye. That was Freddy. We called him. That was called Dan. Dan's the guy in the virtual guest there. Let's see if he's, uh, let's see how he's doing. He said he's, he's feeling kind of dumpy or something, but we're going to call, um, oh, you know Dan? Yeah. And then we'll call Zizang if Dan didn't answer. Oh, he's got some. Dan, it's the program. Today is Canadian Thanksgiving. What do we do? I don't know what to do. All right, thanks, Dan. Can I answer him today? Bye-bye. Canadian Thanksgiving today, yeah. I don't know what time it is and wherever Zizang is, who knows. He's a Canadian though. Find out what we do for Canadian Thanksgiving. The other one, the um, news about free litters and stuff. So, uh, but I actually was looking at the schedule and I don't see talking threads on there, so I think we might just have to do the half an hour Hello? after we get Hey, Zizang. Am I on the program? Zizang, it's the program, yes. Hi. Hello. Hey, um, it's we're celebrating Canadian Thanksgiving today. It's not. It's it's not. It's not Canadian Thanksgiving today. That's it's next, next Monday. It's next week, but we do everything a week ahead of time. Oh, happy Thanksgiving, Canada. Yeah. What What do you guys do for Thanksgiving? Uh, we eat turkey. You do. You have this. Is it the same thing as U.S. Thanksgiving? Uh, pretty much, except this in Canada. That's pretty much, that's pretty much the difference. But do you do, like, sure. like turkey and mashed potatoes and all that stuff? We do lots and lots of food. We just pile up the food, and then we eat about half of it. And then we throw the other half away. So what's, how come, I wonder why there's a Canadian Thanksgiving, U.S. Thanksgiving, if it's the same thing. If we do the same thing, why is it on different days? Yeah, I, I don't, it's something with a blink and, like, killing some guy or something. That's why you guys have Thanksgiving. We have Thanksgiving because, like, the Canadian Abe Lincoln killed some guy on our day. It's a difference. Yeah. But you know about American Thanksgiving, because I had no idea what Canadian Thanksgiving is other than it's on the calendar. No, yeah, we know about it because we get American channels, and they're all, like, Thanksgiving weekend. And then I get confused. I think I've been living in the past, and then I realize that it's a different Thanksgiving. Yeah, are you going to see your grandma? No. You see your no, family? Oh, both of them. What about your families? You gonna see your rest? Any cousins or something? Or? Nah, uh, nah. Probably just need a lot of turkey. Yeah. Just a lot. Do you, do, do, does your mom cook turkey dinner? Think traditionally? No, no, I I cook it. 
you usually can... someone else has to, has to cook it has to baste the turkey turkey baster you cook the whole th the whole thing yeah you just put it in the oven it's like a butter bowl that's all you have to do just pop it right in the oven a butter bowl works butter bowl yeah butter, butter bowl turkey yeah well let me, that's good. Let me tell you about this dream I had yesterday. I was in the dream, and I noticed I was in Ethiopia, and I was like, hey man, I don't live in Ethiopia in real life. So in the dream, I realized it was a dream, so I started lucid dreaming. So I pictured myself in Ethiopia, but I was already there. I was like, this is cool. That was my dream. Whoa. Nothing changed. See, that's, that's the thing. Because I'm going to read a philosophy book on it, because once you realize that you're not in Ethiopia, that's just the place you want to go. Fact. Even if you're not in Ethiopia, you, you will end up in Ethiopia. If you're already there, you, you just stay there. That'd be good. So, yeah, and I'm, I'm hungry now. Maybe I'll celebrate Canadian Thanksgiving also. You guys should call up the McDonald's here. Call up the Aurora McDonald's. Aurora? In Aurora, Canada. Aurora, Canada? All right. Call them up. Tell them Zizang is so tight. They got Putang in there? You know about that? <laughs> they don't have it here when we come back. They only have it in the Quebec McDonald's. Do you, do you yeah. eat that at home ever? Yeah. I had poutine yesterday at the Eaton Center, Toronto. I, I was there and I just had a big poutine. I had meat or fries. It's called Poutinery. There's a place called Poutinery? Yeah, the New York fries, special edition New York fries. What are, what are they? So, poutine. They have ten different types. Do they have different kinds of poutine? Yeah. Like, Just like, there. what kind? Uh, how many different kinds can there be? Well, uh, like ten. They have like butter chicken poutine, like beef, beef poutine, and, like, different types. I, I don't even know. That's pretty weird. Yeah, I'm hungry. You guys should make a poutine on the air in honor of Canadian uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah, well, it's already too late for that because that's today. We're celebrating that today, and I didn't bring any food at all. Oh. So I'm going to celebrate Shoot. Canadian Thanksgiving by being hungry. By being hungry and imagining poutine. Yeah, that would be good. I like poutine, I think. I, never, I don't know if I've ever had it, but I've had great... I like mashed potatoes and gravy, and I would imagine that they'd be some pretty similar. Yeah, except French fries are better than mashed potatoes because mm -hmm. they're French. Yeah. Do you speak French at all from being Canada, Canadian, or...? Well, I speak some French. Not much. Do they teach you that in school? Yeah. You have to learn French in school. That's good. That's Are you... Great. You guys go keep it up with the program, you and Tony C there? Uh, I don't know what happened to Tony C. He, he didn't show me the commercial or anything, but I've been keeping up and watching it. And been, been updating and uh, been watching the shows. Nothing to, uh, the last one I saw. We, uh, we yeah. We still have, we, I wonder what happened to Tony C. Is he, is he okay? I, I don't know. We should try calling him. Yeah, well, I think it's too late. I mean, what time is it where you are? Oh, 11, 12, but he's awake. He's, he's on the trailer right now. He's awake. He stays awake? He. He's awake. He's, he's awake. He doesn't have anything to do. You can tell him that we're going to call him? Yeah. He's, he's well aware. He's waiting for a call. All right, like, we'll call him next, I guess. Okay. Okay, thanks. Uh, happy Can Canadian Thanksgiving. Happy, happy Canadian Thanksgiving. Uh, and Merry New Year. Yeah, bye-bye. All right, let's call Tony C. Say how Tony C is doing. Tony C has that commercial, if you guys don't know who Tony C is. Hello, Tony C. Oh, what the? Hello, Tony? Tony? Yeah. Hey, what's up? 
What's happening, man? It's the program. How you, it, we're calling you. It's late. I know it's late, but uh, Zizang, he, the, he said you're awake. Yeah, Zizang, you know, we, we were talking. Yeah, well, I'm fine. I'm doing I'm, I'm a power powerhouse. Gotta keep going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you stay up late. What time is it where you are? It's, it's 11 o'clock. Oh, that's not that late. Yo, but we, we burn the midnight oil around here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, today we're celebrating Canadian Thanksgiving. We're celebrating what? Canadian Thanksgiving. Oh, that's great. I love, you know, you know, Zizang did that today. They, you know, they went and they, they did the celebratory. Uh, they cut off uh, a moose's head and they eat it. Whoa. Yeah, they're Canadians. Yeah, it's, it's a Canadian tradition. That's wild. That's crazy, I know, but I mean, it's, it's tradition, it's part of the festive, you know, the kids have fun with it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that sounds like a good time. Yeah, that's all, I don't know, we're, we called Zizang because he's Canadian to do this, but then he, he suggested that we call you, but I don't know why, I guess. I don't, I don't know, you know, maybe, you know, he's still on me, you know, I told you, I told you guys, I, I don't know if I, actually, I don't know what I told you, but... We've we've been we've been breached. Uh, the you know the the uh, uh, the corrupted jet. You know that's what we call them now. You know. Zizang said that he gave. Frontal. I thought Zizang gave away the account. Yeah, he gave it to him because Zizang Zizang is very upset with me because I was being lazy and I did not get the uh, infomercial to the Daily Hour. He's, oh, he's upset about that? Yeah, he's upset. He's still angry. He's, you know, getting some threats at me. He's saying, you know, maybe he wants to break my legs a little bit. Yeah. We we just kept the old commercial. That old commercial is fine. Well, we're going to... I I got the... You know, I, I we're, we're reproducing the new one. These things in on it, and we're, we're getting it done. And you know what? We're going to try... We're going to try and get uh, a jet concert, you know, a live one up in uh, Canada. Jet Club. Yeah. What's it's that? Gonna be, we're going to do live. It's going to be. Uh oh. Oh, we've been disconnected. That's too bad. We're going we'll, to we'll call him back. Let's say, Tony, yeah, he was right in the middle telling us about a thing, so we got to call him back now. That's, that's bad. Sorry, Tony. Now we got to log back into the system. Right when we were, he was telling us something good. Going through, I have to say, it again. Let's see what happened to him. Have to log in. We're going to log into the system again now here. Canadian Thanksgiving, everybody. I should have eaten some food for Canadian Thanksgiving. That's what I usually think about when I'm on the show. Usually a meeting or often a meeting, but now um, I'm not. So Tony was right in the middle of telling us about the thing, so we better call him back. Hey, I thought I lost you. Yeah, we lost you for a minute there. We're back, though. Uh, what's, what, what is the thing? What's what we're doing is we're gonna have a live, a live jet show, the first one, in a long time, up in Canada. Hopefully, maybe next summer, or possibly you know this winter. Whoa! And it's gonna be, it's gonna be in Toronto. We're getting ready. It's gonna be the big, it's gonna be the first big jet. That's exciting. What are you gonna do for the live show? We're gonna have, we're gonna have our fa with the fans are gonna be there. We're gonna have to get our we'll have laser lights, you know, because no no jet show is complete without the lasers and the lights. And you know we got the we gotta get our professional instruments, but we're gonna do it. Well, you think so? Uh, that's gonna be in Ontario where Zizang is. Yes, it's gonna be in it's gonna be in Toronto, and hopefully you know hopefully this summer. You know, next summer, uh, or uh, you know, possibly this winter. But I don't know. But we're gonna try and do it. Whoa, that's good. That'll be exciting. You can put that on video. Huh? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna tape it. It'll be the first, 
it'll be the first big jet in a long time. I'll tell you, man. Oh, that sounds exciting. Well, hey, how's uh, how's Miami? Anything ha exciting happening there? Uh, not too much recently. It's been pretty quiet. Uh, you know, just hanging out, trying to get, you know, like I said, I'm getting ready for the this jet, you know, and like I said, we gotta we gotta work on reproducing the we gotta we gotta try and get back the the jet to the count and we gotta reproduce the jet commercial. But we'll get it done, man. All right. I like the I mean the old commercial is fine. Now now I've gotten used to it and I remember what it says every time and things like that. So maybe you can do a new one. But the old one is fine or you can make a new one. Just you can take your time with it now. Yeah, we're we're gonna try it. All right. Okay. Thanks, Tony. Well, I guess we'll talk to you later. All right. Bye, man. Bye, bye. Well, that was Tony. Let's call Reed. Reed is supposed to be here tomorrow. We'll see how Reed is doing. Yeah. yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I'm kind of tired. Didn't eat any food. And um, usually, I think radio producers, other people on other shows, they have you know writers and stuff. We have a writer, but he hasn't really been writing that much, I guess. If we don't, if we don't answer, we, let's see if it's going to show up tomorrow. It might be hard to know. Hello? Hello? Reed? Yeah. Hey, it's the program. How are you doing? Oh, not much. I'm in the YMCA. There was a parent yelling at a kid. It was really peculiar. Whoa. Well, hey, do you Hey, what's up, show? You're scheduled. Are you on the show right now? Yeah, we're doing the show right now. Oh, cool. Who's on it with you? There's, there's nobody here. We had a cancellation. They didn't show up. Okay. Yeah, I'm supposed to come tomorrow sometime. Yeah, do you want to come, like, at 1? Yes, I do. Do you mind if I bring Nate Larson with me? That's fine. All right. Um, let's do it at 1, buddy. All right. Hey, we're, today we're celebrating Canadian Thanksgiving and Columbus uh -huh. Day. Oh, today. Okay. It's, it's Canadian. Th yeah, ne that's next week, next Monday, but we celebrate it a week early because that's when we air. So today is the Canadian Thanksgiving slash Columbus Day special. Okay. And uh, I don't know, would you, have you ever done anything for Columbus Day? No, I remember when I was young, I had to cut out stuff. Uh, you know, he was really nice to the Indians, and they had a really fun time. Yeah. But I haven't done that for a while. That's good, okay. And could, I sing, could I sing the Canadian song? Sure. It's a my uncle is Canadian, and he would sing it out of jest. Okay. May I sing it? Yes. All right. Hey, on this land, it's a place we call Canada. Look around if you're here. Not just the beginning. I want to sing the whole thing. All right. That sounds good. Well, thanks. I'll see you at the, I'll see, I'll see you at the big show tomorrow, Kenny. Yes, thank you. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 That's Reed. He's gonna be here tomorrow. Now what are we gonna do? We're almost halfway through the show. Let's see if that's gonna come up pretty soon. We're local, really. So I guess let's call McDonald's. Let's see how McDonald's are doing today. Say, hey McDonald's, how you do? They'll answer usually. Ask me if they have those milkshakes or. The sauces, stuff like that. See how those sauces, milkshakes are going. Getting ready to call them. Let's call McDonald's in California. It's going straight to our neighbors here on the west. On the west coast. Our neighbors to the west coast, to the south, California. Let's call Novato, California. I want to get some of those pumpkin pu Hey, halfway through the program, everybody. All right. Uh, now we're going to call McDonald's. and well, I want to get those pumpkin pies.
I guess we should call, try to schedule, continue scheduling the week. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Four, one, five. Oh, that McDonald's is a cell phone or something. That's weird. It's called Rialto, California McDonald's. Rialto, California. And then after that, we'll keep, yeah. Keep it on. Keep it going. Oh, uh, McDonald's, you know. McDonald's, speaking. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have the pumpkin pies yet? No, we don't sell the pumpkin pie. Oh, uh, you guys never get them? No. What about the autumn milkshakes? I'm sorry? The autumn milkshakes, you guys get, get the specials? I'm waiting for the fall flavors, you know, like the autumn milkshakes and the pumpkin pies. No, we don't sell those at McDonald's. We only have chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Oh, well, sometimes they get the special ones, and I, I'm almost waiting for those. I'll, thank you. Uh-huh. They do sell them at McDonald's, Rialto, California McDonald's. They don't even know. Maybe they're new people. They're called La Quinta, La Quinta, California. Try to get those pumpkin pies. I want some of the pumpkin pies. So it continues blinking because that, that message hasn't played all the way through. You should erase them. Oh, I do. I do. But I get like three and four and five and six a day. You should get uh, in, uh, Google Voice, like, like the show here, and then you can see all your messages on the email. We're about 22 minutes on the program. You know, we didn't really think we had more than that. About 27 minutes, really. So I'm trying to get this McDonald's to answer the phone. Rialto, California McDonald's, they're not doing it, though. Too bad. I guess we'll call. Let's see what's the next thing. Let's call the next McDonald's. I want to get ask him. I want to get the pumpkin pies. I want to find the pumpkin pies today. La Habra, La Habra, La Habra. We're calling La Habra McDonald's. Yes. Do you guys have those pumpkin pies yet? No. Uh, do you know if you're going to get them in anytime? Uh, let me see the schedule. But I don't know. I haven't heard this thing yet, but hold on. Uh, how many pounds? Uh, uh, you have the food calendar? Yeah, I'm looking at it, but I don't see it, though. Oh, uh, can you tell me what else is coming out this month? The only thing I see is, uh, like, the, uh, the toys that we're going to get, the uh, Halloween pal, something like that. That's all we're getting. That's all we see. The Halloween Town toys? All right. Yeah, I'm waiting for those those fall flavors. I'm waiting for the pumpkin pie and maybe the pumpkin pie milkshakes, too, right? Uh, we usually have it, but I don't know. No, sometimes we, sometimes we don't have it. I don't know if we're going to have it this year. I don't see it on the calendar. Okay. Hold on, let me see. Uh, mango, flour, chicken sandwich, cafe, tomato sandwich. The only thing you get, I see is the, um, like a mocha, different kind of flavor, but that's all you see. Mocha milkshake, or? No, it's like permanent, like, yeah, I don't know. That's all you see. All right. Nothing mm -hmm. else. All right. All right. Okay, thank you. No problem. That was a pretty good one there. That's called Maggie now. Let's see what Maggie's doing. Also, that we can't do the program when I have her scheduled, so we have to move her. 
trying to get reschedule. I've got a new job. So my job, they change around my schedule. Hey, Maggie. Hi. It's the, it's the program. Hi, how's it going? All right, we're doing pretty good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm tired. I just finished my homework. Oh, wow. Well, you know you're scheduled for the program on Wednesday? Yes. It's at um, 6. It's at 6 right now. I wanted to see if we could move it forward till maybe 8 or 9 or later. Um, 8? Actually, yeah, that would be okay because I don't have class on Thursdays. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Eight or nine would be good for me. That sounds good. I'll just tell you that I got a new job and I'm just I'm working on that day, so that'll be good for that. Well, uh, whoa, what's your new job? I'm delivering pizzas. Cool. <laughs> today, today we're celebrating Columbus Day and Canadian Thanksgiving. Oh wow, that's today. That's, yeah, well, it's today. It's going to be next week, but we're celebrating it today. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, okay. Cool. Or actually, That's, Columbus, uh, yeah, Columbus Day Observed. What do, you, do you have any Columbus Day memories? Do I... What? Do you have any Columbus Day memories? Um... I, I don't really. No. Me neither. I, I don't... I didn't even know that it was Columbus... Or it will be Columbus Day. So, do they? I don't. Do you yeah, even get off of school for that, or what? Is that even a school thing? Do you even get off of school for Columbus Day? I'm not even sure about that. You know. I don't think so. I feel like I did in like, like element, like when I like was growing up and stuff. But maybe I didn't, and I'm just making that up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that sounds good. We'll see you on but, Wednesday. Okay. Wait. What time on Wednesday now? Maybe 8:30. 8.30. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. But yeah, have a good show. Okay, Happy Columbus Bye. Day. Bye-bye. Bye. That was Maggie. We're about 22 minutes left on the program. We've gotten through it today. I just found this coupon. I got some of the Monopoly game at McDonald's right now, so I'm going to get some of this, uh, these medium fries. I want a free medium fries. I also got some of the other stuff, too. We'll see if we try to win the, the million dollars from McDonald's. They're doing that right now. It's a pretty good deal, I, th I think. It's called uh, El Dorado Hills McDonald's. Let's see how they're doing today. El Dorado Hills. Gave us a number to talk to her in New Mexico. Oh, yeah, we later, but it's still not working. We have about 15 minutes left on the show. Yeah. Have you ever seen, uh, have you ever seen any natural disasters, Dan? What about Canada? Have you seen anybody like Oh, oh they man. Freeze? Oh man, yeah. There was a. Hello? Oh. Edmonton. Oh. Yeah. Echo. Uh, Alberta. Echo. And uh, Echo. It, it was the only time it happened. There was like old people. Yeah, okay. We're going to have to call the next time. one. Oh. There, there, there was this Nilipas. hurricane. And uh, normally, it's, it's really well. Normally in Canada, the clouds are fairly high up the and they drift along really, really slow. Like here in, in Olympia, you can stand like, in, like during the winter, you can see those clouds go by and they go by fairly quickly. Whereas uh, that one day when it was super stormy, um, the clouds were moving double or triple speed and uh, there were colors in the Whoa. clouds. There, there, there were oranges and greens and, and reds and browns. Oh, and just, just, it wasn't just... All of our Immersed in the internet, our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our code. We act like it's not true, but it is. You, you start to realize it becomes harder and harder to function. YDHWM. 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 Every night, 11.30 p.m. Let's hear the letters of the title of the show. 
Y D H W M. Y D H W M. Y D H W M. Every night, 11:30 p.m. Your daily hour with me. Your daily hour with me. Hey, we're back, everybody. Thanks. Look at this. Oh, whoa! What's happening here? Look, Dan's freaking out. Whoa, whoa, there it goes. Look at me go, I'm moving around just like I do. He's like, he's moving into a claw. He's like, I got a claw, I got a claw, I got a claw. Whoa. Well, that's pretty exciting there, so. There's me, oh wait, where am I? Oh, I'm in the back, I, I kicked myself. I thought that I was in the future there. Keep confusing myself. What's happening? Well, that's me from the past. There's me in the past. This is me now. <laughs> Gotta get the phone mic. I'm flipping through pa the past there. Oh. There it is. So here it's called the McDonald's. <laughs> Milipas. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have those pumpkin pies yet? The who? The pumpkin pie? No, no, yet. Almost for next week. Next week? Uh-huh. All right, thank you. Okay, man, bye-bye. Wow, they know that's good. Here, let's call Brianna, see how Brianna's doing today. Where's the number? Oh, there it is. So I'm getting ready to call her, and then we'll, we'll try to schedule her on the program. We have a pretty good schedule coming up, though. We have the next two weeks pretty much filled up. But tomorrow we got Reed, then we got Maggie, then we have uh, Angie and Bob, then Bill, uh, then John, and then maybe, I don't know, Dan, we're coming back, who knows, then Chelsea, and then Gina, Davey, Bird, and Nora. It's a pretty good schedule. program. Hey, Brenna. How you doing? Pretty good. Hey. Uh, the, oh, there, there's nobody in the studio today. We're celebrating Canadian Thanksgiving and Columbus Day today. I didn't know there was a, a Thanksgiving it's, for Canada. I've talked to, we talked to some Canadian people and they said that Canadian Thanksgiving is the same. Oh. Only on a different day. It's kind of weird. Weird. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. That's what we're doing today. Uh, have you? Are you observing Columbus Day today? Today's not Columbus Day, is it? Is that Columbus Day? Oh, right, Columbus no, Day? It's, it's next week. It's it's next week, but we're doing it this week. I forgot about that, yeah. Wait, why? We celebrate things a week in advance because that's when we're on TV, so that's when we do the special. Uh... Happy Columbus Day, yes. all watchers. Yeah, so we get to do holidays in advance. So if you want to celebrate a holiday twice, you can come on the program a week before a holiday happens and celebrate it on the, on the program. Whoa. Well, um, tomorrow, or one week from tomorrow is my birthday. Oh, it is? That's good. Maybe we'll have to call you tomorrow, too. You want to? You can come yeah. on the program and wish yourself happy birthday. We're Tomorrow, Reed's going to be here. Call me tomorrow and wish me happy birthday one week from then. I'm, I'm in Seattle for oh, okay. a couple of days. Well, that's Did good. you say that there, you had time on Saturday? On Saturday, um, well, Bill Bill is going to be here at 3. And the Saturday after that, we have Nora. And then maybe Lucy can come back after that. But we, uh, in after two weeks, there's nobody scheduled. Do you want to come on in two weeks? Maybe. Is there no other times before that? There. I mean, you can come on with other people anytime. But it's all scheduled. If you want to come on with the with the other guests who are already scheduled, that's fine too. Oh, okay. Well, maybe. I don't know. That's good. What's uh? Have you seen anything on the streets, or maybe in Seattle? Um, nothing that interesting on the streets. Nope. Can't think of anything. Okay. Sorry. No good stories here. Did, didn't you leave, you left a message like maybe and we didn't talk to you about it? I think that was yesterday or two days ago. I forgot what that was about. Though. Do you remember what that was about? Oh, I think I was just like, hey, I want to be on the program. 
Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that sounds good. Yeah, I guess... I was... What? Oh, I was driving with Caitlin, and I was like, I want to be on the program soon. And then I just called. Okay, I can tell you the schedule. Yeah. I mean, for the next week, let's see, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is at 2, and then on Wednesday it's going to be at 8.30, and then Thursday is going to be at 2, 2, 3, pretty much mostly 2 o'clock. If you show up at 2 o'clock, we're usually here, but you usually pop a call, I guess, or something. Okay, well... We'll put you on a schedule. No, you should come on. You want to come on on uh, tentatively for the week after, on the eight, like the, on a Wednesday, in like two weeks. What day is that? It's the nineteenth, October nineteenth. Yeah, let's say that. All right, and then we'll. I'll call you to remind you also. Okay, that sounds good. Is two o'clock a good time? Usually. Yeah, usually. All right. Yeah, usually. I don't have a job anymore, so. Okay, yeah, that's when you're scheduled, so we'll we'll call you then, and we'll call, we'll, we'll tell you happy birthday to you also. Okay, thanks, Kenny. Oh, hey, have you ever been attacked by a wild animal? No. That's good. Uh, never. That's safe, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Well, that was uh, Brianna there. She's going to come on the program now. we got more schedules, scheduling people for the future. Doing that kind of thing. We've got 13 minutes left on the show. It's Monday without Dan, though. So that's why Dan's be in a church. And they're like, I don't have a church, and I'm like, you have problems? problems? We can well, fix your problems. Church. Mine, mine has nothing to do with God or Jesus or the Holy Ghost. Or because Baha'i, Baha'i is Jesus? Uh, the Baha'i faith, as far as I know, as far as I've been told, the Baha'i faith uh, is about, um, there is belie- belief that Jesus was a prophet. Yeah. Not the son of God. It's a prophet, that's like you the Muslim Muhammad stuff. was a prophet. Buddha yeah. was a prophet. Uh, um, it may not include the Hindu religion but because the, so the, the Hindu what, religion trying to is. You? is, is you in there? They always try. Yeah, McDonald's, do you guys have those pumpkin pies yet? No. Uh, do you know if you're going to get those in soon? Mm, not yet, I guess. Uh, you guys don't have like maybe a schedule or they don't tell you when they're going to come? Okay, I'm just waiting for the fall flavors. You guys got the pumpkin pie milkshakes yet? No. Neither of that? No. Okay. I don't know when that comes. I mean, it's the fall started. Maybe maybe you guys are a little bit behind. I'm waiting for I, the pumpkin. It's pump- Ollie, like, until November. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's probably going to be until November. Uh, I don't see no pumpkin pie. No. Uh, do you have the food schedule? No, we have a schedule, but it's not the, it just says, yeah, we don't have that because we really, recently just got caramel apples and that's it. What just didn't come up is the peppermint mocha and that's all that we're having. You're, that's the new food on the schedule is caramel apples and peppermint mochas? Yeah, but that's until like in two weeks. Uh, okay. But you have like a calendar? Can it, so you think that they all, all the dolls that got a calendar, I can just go look at it? No, we don't. We just have like our, this, it's just like a re- regular candle, uh, calendar. Oh. And that's it. We don't have like, oh, what's coming up in food and that's it. Mm, okay. So they don't they don't keep track of that? Maybe corporate? I can't call corporate? You could probably call corporate. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. That was Bell Gardens, California. McDonald's. And seeing how they're doing today, but they don't have those uh, fall flavors yet. Waiting for the fall flavors. Well, I like those fall flavors. Yeah, I just did the batteries running out of the machine. Maybe we should watch that. We could watch the street team video one more time. Oh, it's gone actually, or is it gone? Yep. I think they took the street team video, so we can't even have it here anymore, even if we wanted to watch it. So. Let's keep watching Dan a little bit more. Dan, see what Dan's saying. Arizona. Oh wow, that's where he got this. No, you got that in Oregon or something. Oh, Oregon. Yeah, the obsidian. Yeah, Oregon, well, it's okay. volcanic in nature, so Oregon sounds about right. Oregon or Washington? Uh, Oregon. That wasn't uh, yeah. the other thing. You know, and part of it too, Kenny, is that because I escaped from Mormonism, which is an incredibly intense daily daily Jesus, God stuff. Uh, 
<sighs> um, it just, um, it just, you know, I, I couldn't get back into something else. I investigated the Jehovah's Witnesses for a while. You want to become a Jehovah's Witness, maybe? Well, it's like I felt like I felt the need that if I, I, I had to be in a church. Yeah. Right. I needed spiritual. Yeah, Jehovah's Witness. That's pretty wild. Okay. Here, let's call Angie and find out if she still has appendicitis and see if it just went away. She said she had appendicitis. Appendicitis is bad, so if you look, if you get it, look out. That's, that's some debil. But the person you called has a voice mailbox. I'm sorry too. Uh, let's call Pasadena, California, I guess. Hey, Pasadena, California. How you doing? You. Okay. Without my help, you. Hey, McDonald's. Do you guys have those uh, pumpkin pies yet? Pumpkin? No. Uh, do you know if you're going to be getting them in anytime soon? Um, I haven't heard anything, so probably your store manager will know if you're going to give it a call in the morning. Oh, you don't have like, a calendar or anything? No. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Uh-huh. We have about seven minutes left in the show. Oh, yeah, I did a long story I was going to try to tell, but I don't think I have enough time to tell that story right now. Because uh, I don't have, like, yeah, like I said, seven minutes left. I don't know how quiet... I don't know how quiet I've been the whole time. Now you can hear me a little bit better. I don't know how quiet I've been in the mics. Who knows about the systems today or these days in general. You know, all these days are going kind of wild. They're maybe too far. We've gone too far with it. Uh, it's possible possible that we can't, we can't hear. We couldn't hear the whole time. Uh, I think you should be able to hear, though. Hopefully you can, though. That would be uh, pretty bad if you couldn't hear the whole time. Well, I guess let's call Asha because that's a... Uh, Prior to calling Maggie. Asha, leave a message. At the tone, please record your message. Asha, it's the program. Uh, you schedule or Maggie's scheduled to be here on Wednesday. You gonna come with her? Uh, that's the question. Okay, thanks, Asha. Asha, thanks. Bye, bye. All right, that was Asha. Let's call Reese now. See how Reese is doing. He's gonna answer the phone. We'll have another five minutes though. Well, here, let's go find Dan. We'll find, we'll find one more day. Oh, what? Find one more Dan day before. Hey, Reese, this is the program. Uh, call us back. We want to see how your brothers, if they got back to, if they're like still fighting or if they're not anymore, if you, if you created peace with your brothers. So calls back, uh, three three zero five three six three zero two. Bye bye. All right, that was that was a Dan day. We're gonna find this next Dan day. We're gonna look a little bit more another Dan day Monday, uh, respective. The last five minutes here, and then uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. And after that, we'll be we're pretty good, I guess. We're good for the day. Oh, look at that! I'm freaking out a little bit because of the fast forwarding in the machine there. So we're fast forwarding through here. We're gonna see some Dan stuff from the other day. Oh, there he is. Here we are on TV. 
that gets the title of the episode. Yeah. Yeah, the title of the episode is the phone number now, yeah. Monday. So there's Dan. Yeah, Dan's back. Dan's yeah. back. I took a break. Two week break. Oh, this is yeah. after his break. Yeah, Dan's back after two weeks. Yes. I needed that much time for anxiety and so he has he was having anxiety back then and he's I guess he's having anxiety new anxiety so and he's all crazy colored too so that's kind of pretty crazy yeah Dan well there's Dan back there we're gonna get down to it we're gonna the last four minutes of the big finale of the program what are we gonna do how are we gonna celebrate the finale it's the big finale of the program. Been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Six, one, two. Uh oh. Well, we're getting down to it. We're gonna do just make calls so nobody can answer. Call one more McDonald's. We call my brother at the end. Tell him it's the end of the show. He went to college. Oh, one minute left. It's Brian Gold's back. Bye bye. End of the show. Well, thanks everybody. Thanks for watching the show. I know it's been a. Uh, if you guys have been looking for Dan, he'll be back later. You know, he's not gone forever. He'll come back. And just because today uh, he's not here doesn't mean he won't be back next week. But he might not be, but we'll have to find out about that later. But there he is over there. Dan, there's Dan, he's the guy we're talking about. You can see him. I can't find him though. Oh, he's all crazed out. That's why. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching the show. Check us out on YouTube. Or call in. You can be on TV. We have a Twitter. We're also on this thing. You can call this thing. It's a good thing to call. Looking for crew members. You guys want to be on the crew. These people are, are on the crew currently. Thanks, viewers. XTC TV. Thanks, little baby. Check it out. Arts Walk. And uh, what's that? Or, yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. And then.